mathematicians. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the exterior angle inequality theorem. So before we had already looked at what an exterior angle is. For example, angle Z is outside made by extending one side. So Z has a value of an exterior angle that is outside my triangle. And then we talked about the remote interior. So when we say remote, we mean a away from, not next to, like we use a remote control that's away from our TV, right? It's remote from our TV, we don't have to go up to the TV. And we said it takes both X and Z together, or X and Y together, to make Z. So because of that, since I have to add to X to get to Z, and I have to add to Y to get to Z, I can say that I know that Z in relation to X and z in relation to y, I know that z, since it takes x plus y to make z, I know z has to be a bigger value than x, and z has to be a bigger value than y. Your x to your angle will always be bigger or greater than your remote interior angles. Okay, so let's see how we can apply this. All right, it says to list all the angles of triangle EFG with measures that are less than angle one. So angle one is my exterior angle. I know that the exterior angle is always greater than the remote interior. Okay, so that means my remote interior for this one are gonna be four and three. So my exterior angle one I know is going to be greater than the two interior angles, angle four and angle three. So if angle one is greater than angle four and three, that means the angles that are less than angle one are gonna be four and three. Angle four and angle three are less than angle one. Okay, your remote interior angles are always smaller than the exterior. Here's another example. If angle one is 98 degrees, what are the possible values of angle three? So angle one is 98 degrees and that's an exterior angle, right? I know the exterior angle is always greater than the interior angles. So that means angle, or the remote interior angles, which angle three is. It is a remote interior angle. So I know angle three has to be less than the exterior angle 98. So angle three has to be less than 98 degrees, okay? I also know angle three has to be bigger than zero, right? Because we know that zero degrees is the smallest you can get when you're talking angles for a triangle. You can't actually get there, so I don't put an equal bar. So I know angle three has to be between zero and 98 degrees. Okay, let's look at some more examples. If the measure of angle four is 48 degrees, what are the possible values of angle one? So this time they gave me four, which is inside, it's a remote interior angle, and they said it's 48 degrees. And I wanna know what possible values are for there for the outside. I know that the outside, the measure of angle one, has to be greater than either of the two interior angles. And my two interior angles are 48 degrees. So I know that the measure of angle one has to be greater than 48 degrees, okay? Sometimes we'll also add in there that we know the measure of angle one has to also be less than 180, right? Because I know it takes both of these at two angles together, angle one and angle two. It takes both of those angles to make a straight line, a linear pair, so I know it's also less than 180. So sometimes you'll hear angle one is between 48 degrees and 180 degrees, okay? Let's look at the next one, it's a little bit different. It says find the measures that are greater than angle five. So angle five is a remote interior angle for this triangle here on the right-hand side, okay? So that means that remote interior angle has to be less than the exterior angle if I extend this side. And the exterior angle is angle one. So I know angle one has to be bigger than angle five. 
But wait, there's more because angle five is part of this remote interior angle for this whole triangle here, which means angle five has to be smaller than the remote interior angle for that triangle. So that means angle seven has to be bigger than angle five. So there's two angles that I know for sure have to be greater than angle five. There might be more in that picture that are greater than angle five, but none that I can prove, especially since I don't know my pictures to scale, okay? All right, here's another example. Find the measures that are less than the measure of angle one. So we kind of looked at this one already before. When I look at this triangle here, I know that remote interior angles are less than exterior angles. So I want angle one to be an exterior angle, which it is when I do this, okay? So my remote interior angles that will be less than angle one are gonna be angle five and angle six. When I look at number two, this time it says find the measures that are greater than angle one. So that means I need angle one to be a remote interior angle. So it needs to be inside a triangle. And it needs to be a remote interior angle, so that means it needs. To, I need to extend a side that's not, I need to extend a side that's not touching it. So I can't extend this way, because these two would be supplementary. So I need to extend to the left, this direction, and see that angle seven is gonna be bigger than one as a remote interior angle. So angle seven is greater than angle one, there might be other angles in the picture that are greater than angle one, but this is the only one I can prove is greater than angle one. Okay? Find the measures that are less than angle seven. So angle seven is an exterior angle to this pink triangle right here. So I know that the remote interior angles are less than the exterior angle. So angle three is less than seven and angle one is less than seven. But wait, there's more because angle seven is also an exterior angle to the whole triangle, okay? So since it's an exterior angle to the whole triangle, I know it's also going to be three and five together and six as remote interior angles. I already have three written down, but we need to add angle five has to be less than angle seven and angle six has to be less than angle seven. So there's four angles that I can prove are less than angle seven. Now real quick, I wanna pause and look at this one right here. It looks like we can go, oh, well two is definitely smaller than seven. But again, remember this picture doesn't say anywhere that this is to scale. So since I don't know if this is to scale, I can't really say for sure, even though two sure does look smaller than seven, I can't prove that this angle really is acute and this one really is obtuse. Okay, on the next one it says find the measures of the angle that are greater than angle two. So I need to think of angle two as an interior angle and it needs to be remote so that its exterior angle is greater, which means I can't extend on the same side I've been extending, I need to extend this direction, which makes then four become the exterior angle. So the only angle I can prove for sure is greater than angle two is angle four. Again, just because seven looks bigger, doesn't mean we can prove that angle seven is bigger than angle two, okay? All right, so just kind of a little, little, real quick review of what we've talked about. We know that our exterior angle Z takes both X plus Y to equal that value, which means we know the relationship between Z and X individually and Y individually. Z has to be bigger than x because it takes x plus y. z has to be bigger than y because it takes y plus x to make z. Okay, so this is my triangle inequality theorem is that my exterior angle has to be greater than my interior angles. Okay, thank you so much for watching.